The first thing you need to know about the USS Croker is why the name? The croaker is a type of fish that makes a croaking sound like that of a frog. The U.S. Navy named all of their Gato-class submarines after varieties of fish, including grouper, bluefish, haddock, and whale. USS Croker was constructed as one of the U.S. Navy's 77 Gato-class submarines. These were the first American mass-produced submarines created to meet the demands of missions in the Pacific theater of World War II. With a length of 311 feet 8 inches and total displacement of 2,424 tons, Gato-class boats were quite large, including room for huge fuel storage, which made them capable of conducting 75-day patrols from Hawaii to Japan and back. Another significant aspect that increased the boat's combat abilities was diving depth. Gato-class submarines were tested to submerge to a record depth of 300 feet, but in actual service they were going even deeper. The submarines also had an improved armament with 10 torpedo tubes and 24 21-inch Mark 14 torpedoes. Because patrols were so long, torpedoes had to be used sparingly. For that reason, deck armament was improved with one 3-inch deck gun, one 40mm Bofors gun, and one 20mm Orlikon gun. They came from many backgrounds and nationalities with many different beliefs and customs. And although their composite was a product of the social and political mores of their time, the submariners had a code that applied to all who came aboard in service, no matter who they were before. Because, unlike his naval colleagues serving on surface ships, a fully qualified submariner, whatever his trade, had to know what everyone and everything in the boat does and how to operate it, even in complete darkness or under fire. That takes training, and it's called earning your dolphins. Submariners earn their dolphins by demonstrating vast knowledge of all systems aboard a submarine in a process called qualifying. Qualifying is not just a rite of passage or achievement for submariners, it is a requirement of submarine service. Unsurprisingly, the submarine warfare insignia is considered one of the most difficult to earn in the Navy. Even though the Gato-class boats were new, they were still cramped, oppressive, and dangerous environments. The diesel engines, even when working properly, created fumes. The batteries that were required to run the systems produced toxic gases. The boat was hot under the best of conditions and hellish in the tropical waters of the South Pacific. The air, especially when running under the surface, became stale and polluted. Submariners found they could not light their cigarettes due to a lack of oxygen for combustion. There were no secrets aboard the Croker or on any submarine. There was no modesty, limited hygiene, and plenty of opportunity to get on each other's nerves. When a mission could last for 75 days, nerves, tempers, and discipline were put to the test. To make matters worse, there was little water available for bathing, and on long patrols, most men showered only about every 10 days or so. Laundry was out of the question. Because of these conditions, submarines developed a unique smell, a combination of diesel fuel, sweat, cigarettes, hydraulic fluid, cooking, and sewage. Of course, all that pales beside the conditions outside the boat, where enemy airplanes prowled eager to drop their bombs and enemy ships stood ready to fire depth charges or guns. Then there was the weather. 
the cruelty of the sea, mechanical breakdowns, communication failures, torpedoes fired from your own boat making a circle run and threatening destruction, and should you survive a sinking and be captured by the enemy, torture and inhumane treatment would begin immediately. Despite all of the hardships, the crew of the USS Croker served with honor and distinction. Under the command of John E. Lee, the Croker and her crew won the Navy Unit Commendation Medal by sinking the Japanese light cruiser Nagara on August 7, 1944. Their record of service was exemplary, and the effectiveness of their many missions would not have been possible without their heroic efforts under the most trying of circumstances. The 263 submarines that made war patrols in World War II, 41 were lost to enemy action, while another 11 were lost to accidents or other reasons. This was nearly one out of every five submarines, making the job of submariner one of the most dangerous of the war. Despite the dangers, American submarines performed admirably. In the Pacific, American crews sank almost 1,400 Japanese ships of different types, totaling more than 5.5 million tons, over half of Japan's Navy and Merchant Marine. They also rescued 504 downed airmen from the sea, evacuated key individuals from danger areas, landed reconnaissance parties on enemy shores, gathered intel on enemy operations, and in a few cases, used their five-inch deck guns to bombard enemy positions. After the war ended, the Croker went on to serve other missions. She was redesigned with seven other Gatos with the hunter-killer conversion and served another 15 years during the Cold War. She tracked Russian submarines and reported their positions. She also participated in training exercises with U.S. Navy and NATO forces and acted as ambassador of the U.S. Navy and the United States overseas. The Croker's final mission continues to this day. Of the 77 Gato-class submarines that turned the tide in the Pacific and were essential to the Allies' success, 71 have been scrapped and no longer exist except in documents, photographs, and in memory. Thus, the USS Croker's current mission is to honor educate, inspire, and preserve the legacy of the boat, its crew, and their many sacrifices and heroic efforts. The Buffalo and Erie County Naval and Military Park encourages you to visit the memorials, examine the artifacts, listen to the stories that are being kept alive here at the park, and remember them. Perhaps there are similar stories of courage, sacrifice, and duty in your family that need to be kept alive for future generations as well. Mm -hmm.